Hello, Devon Wolf, Mystical Drumming, mysticaldrumming.com. Five stroke roll. What an interesting creature. Interesting creature. Five stroke roll is one of my favorites. And uh, it's it can be incorporated in so many ways. So let's start by doing a, the basic five stroke roll. Okay. Let's get a uh, Here's a heavy one here, okay? All right, now. A five-stroke roll. Please watch the other videos that we have here on YouTube for free to show you how to properly roll. Um, being able to roll properly is a critical thing. Um, I am in a minority. I love Rango Star. Uh, I think his drumming was tremendous. Technically off the scale? No, obviously not. Um, just beautifully implemented in a beautiful way to um, just beautiful music. Uh, that's my opinion. And that's an opinion. doesn't mean it's uh, right or wrong. It's just an opinion. Um, I did however, hear a quote one time. I believe it's true. Uh, I need a quote. That to this day, he still cannot play a clean roll. Now, it doesn't take anything away from him. However, um, I'd like to give him a couple lessons if he's trying to do a roll. Um, he's older now, but um, he's still actively drumming, as I understand it. And um, guys, you want to play a roll. Okay, yeah. All right, so critical thing. So rolls. Five stroke roll. Well, it, the name tells us what it is. It's five strokes. So not rolling, just using strokes. One, using right hand lead, but you should be doing more left hand lead, practicing than right hand lead to get stronger left than right. I assure you, it will make you a much better drummer. So you know what? We'll do left hand lead. Okay, okay, just for the heck of it. Left hand lead. So left, left, right, right, left. That's slow. However, it's not left, left stroke, right, right stroke, left. It's left bounce. A bounce. If you imagine, you can see my stick, we drill through your thumb and index finger. We put a bolt in here and 10W40, it's lubricated. It's fixed completely. It's like a part in your engine. It goes very fast, right? Like a cam. Crazy, crazy fast. But it doesn't go anywhere. If any part in your engine moves, you don't have an engine anymore, okay? Yeah, same kind of thing here. The tips of the fingers come and wrap around. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Wrap around the stick, just touching the stick. So we have a nice, uh, taking the fingers off, the back three fingers off. The fulcrum is nice and loose, but fixed. Tips of the fingers on the stick, and we have a flicking stick. We want to flick. means you're dropping it right. You're dropping the stick. You're allowing it to bounce. You're not bouncing it. Bounce. It means the stick is dropped and it bounces and you're just, just slightly stopping after the second bounce, more bounces with your back fingers and just a little 
pinch, pincer, between your forefinger and thumb. Okay, bounce, 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 loose, loose, you can't be too loose, I'm totally loose, no, more loose, I'm still, I've been playing for 40 years, um, I'm dating myself, I still have like 5 years old, loose, I'm still loosening up, okay, and I just really learned this concept uh, maybe, I don't know, 15 years ago. I mean, really, when I started to study martial arts very seriously, is when I really started to understand this concept of looseness, okay. I really had no clue about this before that. I was just banging away like most people, not really understanding that this was a thing of dynamics through looseness and movement, okay. So, bounce, okay, so bounce. With no accent, it's slower. metronome on. I use my feet as a metronome, so... So what was I doing there? Doubling the speed. So going... Right? So you can do that as well. Um, it's very important you get the five stroke roll down. You do it properly. Okay. Hope you can see my hands enough to, to do this. So we're going to keep it clean. Level accenting. Okay, so in future videos, you'll see cooperation of the five-stroke roll being done on the kit. You can practice. I, well, you use these pads on electronic drums because, to me, they play actually better than practice pads. Uh, these roll on the kits, I think their pads are just amazing. Uh, however, you should be practicing on your pad and then bring it after that, after you get some kind of level mastery to the kit. Uh, meaning your snare drum, and then your snare drum, you go further branch out onto your kit, which we'll talk about in the next video. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we always appreciate it. Hit the like button if you like. We like you if you like it, and uh, uh, you can join, join our mailing list. Uh, you can get on the list here. You go to mysticaljournal.com, get on our mailing list, and uh, we have a great video series there uh, to teach you all kinds of cool stuff about martial arts. Uh, and the infinite power of the mind combined with the drums. It's really cool stuff and it's really reasonable. So, rock and roll. And private lessons are available as well. So, you can get lessons through me if you're local in New York in person. Otherwise, we can do it by Skype or other methodology these days as well. But yeah, okay. and we um, appreciate it. Okay, have a great day.